exactly, but I think the big thing that we're going to see changing in the next few years is there's going to be uh, people, people worry about AI, meaning there's fewer developers. I actually think it's going to be that there's way more developers, hmm. um, you know, 10 times as many developers in the next few years as there have been in the past, because AI assistance will allow so many more people to become developers. And what that means is that we will have people um, who are writing niche apps for niche use cases, often for themselves, using AI as an assistant, maybe in some cases, people who don't even know how to code, but if they're building apps, I still count them as developers. I'm not going to gatekeep that. So uh, I, and I think there will be this transformation um, in software where like you see a lot of software today that is a, a platform that's designed to solve lots of general use cases. Think of Excel, Microsoft Excel, the spreadsheet. People use spreadsheets for all kinds of things, tracking finances to like doing calculations for, for to-do lists, you know, <laughs> and a spreadsheet can do all these things, but it's not great at doing any of these things. Like you can kind of with enough tedious work, get it to do lots of different things. And, and people do that because it's fairly easy to do, even if you don't know how to code. But what if in the future, instead of building a spreadsheet, you ask an AI to write a custom app for you for every one of these things. AI could probably, in a lot of cases, write a better app than uh, what you'd build in an Excel spreadsheet in a lot of cases. So all of a sudden the demand for general platforms like Excel goes down and the demand for very custom bespoke one-off apps goes up. Um, and workers is probably the best place uh, to, you know, millions of custom apps because that's what we've been built for all along is very fine grain, you know, single or massive multi-tenancy on our servers by making the, the overhead of each individual tenant very small. Um, yeah, it's software is going to be very different for the next few years. It will be really interesting to to track and see. And it's also interesting to be honest, like seeing that something that was already there is actually almost built for something that wasn't there before. Yeah, it's funny how all of our design decisions, all the, the vision over the past eight years has like come together to be like the thing we actually need right now. I, I'm not sure if that's, that's luck or foresight, probably a lot of luck. But uh, here we are, and uh, it's, it's exciting. You, you probably didn't expect that when you were uh, I mean, building it. Obviously, I wasn't expecting I wasn't expecting it to write code for people. I didn't believe that was possible until a couple of months ago. So uh, yeah.